All right, welcome to you, Surprise Tampa! Woo! Woo yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Do it. Yeah, 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 cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready? Do it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Yes Chapel, it's the best. It is better than all of the rest. We got everybody up in FEC, so why don't y'all come and party with me? My name is James, I play no games. It's gonna get lit, we're gonna go up in flames. We got Raquel here laying down a sick beat, and last but not least, a chap. Everybody say, I'm Chip! Everybody say it now, I'm Chip! Everybody say it now, I'm Chip! And one more time, I'm Chip! I'm Chip! And you're Chip, and you're Chip! Cause it's an exciting morning, Woo. everybody. Woo! I'm out of breath. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of fog in here. Oh I can't God. see all your lovely faces. Wow, what an exciting morning. Give it up for the band one more time, everybody. Absolutely. We have a really awesome, awesome. morning planned for yeah, all of you. But real quick, little community announcement. This is my very last year in Surprise Chapel. What? Before I become yeah. a dad. Aww. Yeah, so. Aww. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Clean joke, anyway. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, all that to say, next year I'm probably gonna be really tired. So, submit videos, submit sketches, submit your ideas for here at Surprise Chapel, because we're going to need it. Yes, we are. That's right. Yep. Well? I just want to say something. Yeah. If anybody didn't know, today is Happy Babe Ruth Day. Yeah. There's a few other days it is today, right? Yeah. Like Happy what? Morse Code Day. Morse Code Day. Happy Child Code Provider Day. Mm-hmm. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all of them. <laughs> So, Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have a really exciting morning plan for you. We're going to kick it off right now with a video made by one of your very own students. Give it up for Karis, everybody. Woo! And this is my Jesus expert friend, Amanda. I love Jesus and nothing else. It's almost summer and you know what that means. I think it's time to find out people's summer plans. But this Jesus expert will show you some holier alternatives. Oh Hi, what are your summer plans? Oh, what are your summer plans? What? I need a second. I'm listening to Frank Ocean very loudly. You listening to Frank Ocean? My favorite song is Oceans by Hillsong. Listen to that. That's a hit, Summer Jam. Excuse me, what are your summer oh plans? Oh my gosh, you, my summer plans is working a lot. Good. I'm, I live from Colorado, so a summer I'm going home. Perhaps read Job this summer. It's a good story. Who are we going to be in the chapel video? trial and error. Please. Please. Chapel video. This is my goal. I don't really? know her. I don't Please. know her. This has been my goal since freshman year. I don't know her. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Hi, what are your summer plans? Um, I'm not sorry, you, we sorry, the dog. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What are your summer plans? Uh, just going to the beach. You're gonna go to the beach? Yeah. It's kind of far, isn't it? No, not too bad. It's kind of far from Azusa, so if you can't make it to the beach, I think a good alternative would be listening to Oceans by Hillsong. You know it? Hi there. What are your summer plans? Uh, it seems like he's taken a vow of silence, like a, a, a word fast. He's word fasting, uh, spending his time with God, I think. So, you're a good man. Hi, excuse me, what are your summer plans? My summer plans? Yeah. To go to church every Sunday. Every Sunday? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Um, I'm translating the Bible back into Greek. 
You're translating the Bible back into Greek? Yeah. So this is gonna sound a little crazy, but I've really been really feeling good. God like talking to me and I really feel like he's calling not me to do whatever this is. Amanda. Do you wanna go chat in the Rose Garden? Amen. Amanda, we're not done interviewing. Amanda? Come back. Uh, so do you want to listen to Oceans by Hillsong? I gotta go. <clears throat> Have a good summer. John 1 9 says, What does it say? Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Psalm 118.4 says, What's it say? Let those who fear the Lord say, God's steadfast love endures forever.
When I was six years old, my brother Greg and I played tic-tac-toe constantly. And, and one day in the middle of a game, he caught me in that trap where no matter what space I chose, he would win. And instead of losing with dignity, I just completely lost my mind and stabbed him in the face with a pencil. And that's when I realized I might have an anger management problem. After many years of court-ordered anger management classes, I was encouraged to find a low-stress workplace. When I heard that APU was a place where everyone was always super nice to each other, I knew that would be the perfect place for a compulsive rage monster like me. I applied for the first open position I could find and I was hired 10 months later. However, it wasn't long before God started testing me on a daily basis. I would arrive every morning for work at East Campus and I would discover that the parking lot would be completely full. Or I'd get an email announcing a campus lot closure. Nothing prepared me for the horror of East Campus parking lots. It was the hardest test of my patience I had ever faced. The Bible says in James, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Well, I knew God must have big plans for me because I was pushed to the edge like every morning. One Thursday morning this past February, I was on my way to work when my breakfast burrito started to disagree with my tummy. And as I raced to campus, I remembered that the staff lot was closed for a preview day. And I knew that if I didn't park fast, I'd be shampooing my car seats later. I prayed and I said, God, if you really, really love me, you will provide a parking space for me here on East Campus. So I tested God by pulling into the main lot and I discovered that morning that God still does perform miracles. I found a parking spot on East Campus during a preview day in under 30 seconds. If my story could teach anyone anything, I think it would be to never doubt God because God can do the impossible. Now, whenever I'm looking for parking on East Campus where I get one of those emails, I remember when the Lord did the impossible for me. James 1.12 says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life. After parking here at APU so many times, I know that my crown is going to be massive. That video was made by our seniors right here at APU. Give it up for them. Nice job. So if you were here at Christmas Chapel, what's up? You can rap and yodel. What's the deal? I don't know. Can you do everything? Koba, nice lead dancing. And we have a surprise of a person that we're going to introduce to you in just a second. But here's what we need to do. This never happens just casually. There's someone by the name of Jeff Spencer that's the director, the dreamer, the planner, who gets a ton of support by James and Raquel, undergrad interns. Hey, thanks for putting on something fun and lighthearted. Chapel Programs, come on, just stand up. Let's cheer for you for a second. You are deeply appreciated. Thanks for letting everybody laugh right before finals. Great job. Also, holding on to applause, one other large, big group. I got to be honest, Campus Pastors, do not do all this hard work. You got facilities that sets up chairs. You got card monitors. You got worship leaders. You got campus safety. You got every kind of person that makes this whole thing happen. And media services. Nothing happens without a microphone. Give them a little bit of love, all right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The four of us. Uh, have talked a little bit to prepare today. And one of the things we wanted to make sure we did was look back over this last year. And one of the biggest things that reminds me of what God intended, and we didn't even know it, was to help us to figure out how to do life together. Our university passages last year, Micah 6, 8, and uh, being in uh, Acts chapter 2, 
really gave us the words from God we needed to figure out how to do justice, mercy, and humility. Not always easy, but I see fruit in what God has done in me, and I've seen what God has done in this community. And, and so in a lot of ways, what we look back on is God has been faithful in really difficult times and really hopeful times, so we praise God for that. Now looking to the future, I get to do an introduction. For the last eight months, the campus pastor's office have had an empty position. Uh, we haven't had anybody in our pastoral care role. And after eight months, God has provided an amazing new pastor for next year. For the very first time, I want to introduce not just Reverend, but Dr. Reverend Leah Fortson. Will you give her a welcome? Hi, everyone. I am so excited to have this opportunity to serve you all next year, but I am looking forward to doing life with you, for doing ministry with you. I'm excited to see the ways that God is gonna surprise us, remind us, assure us, and reassure us. And so I just say, let's journey together, because I think it's gonna be awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. And isn't it great that we decide the first time you get to say hi to everybody, you just a big chapel at the very end of the year. Yes, what a way to do it, right? Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, let me give you something to look forward to for next year as we're talking about things in the future. Uh, university passages have been selected again. Students were on that committee, faculty, staff were on that committee, a lot of prayer, a lot of time spent. And whether you are becoming an alum here in the next week or you will be returning as a student, we want God to really shape in us the cornerstone of Christ, to know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and, and through Christ, we can be radically changed. And so we're going to look at Isaiah 53 and Philippians chapter 2, because Christ is the greatest example of sacrifice and humility. So we look forward to doing that with you next year. Woody, I didn't know you were making a costume change. I did. There's no way I was wearing that red bow tie up here. I wanted to forget that moment really bad. But I have the opportunity first just to thank you all for engaging and in challenging each other to speak life. We had a wonderful year of post-it notes and encouragement and uncommon conversations. And we've learned so much about what it means to um, steward the power of our words. And so we want to make sure this is a life practice for us. Um, I've also had the cool opportunity on Monday nights to hang out with seniors in Senior Chapel. And so would love 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 if you're a graduating senior we have 816 so if you're in the house can you please stand so we can cheer for you and commission you thank you seniors and that was an excellent senior video by the way thank you for that all right i'm going to talk to you about holy alternatives for the summer no i'm just kidding um Man, God has done so many awesome things this year on this campus, amongst you, within you. It's been a blessing as one of your campus pastors to hear about all the ways in which friendships have formed, encouragement has happened, new knowledge and application of what God's been doing, speaking to us through his word, whether it be in chapel or in d-group settings or in your own as you go through different ways. So we want to just say continue pressing into God as you finish out this year, as you get ready for a summer. Be open to ways in which when the schedule might not be as crazy, there might be those windows of opportunity to reflect, to continue engaging, and to know Jesus in, in an even deeper way. Would you please stand with us? We're going to get ready to, uh, to, to pray because we believe it's significant just to offer up this time um, before God. Yeah. In a lot of ways, one of the greatest gifts of uh, being a campus pastor is when we get to pray with you. Um, there are so many different moments that uh, we would love to fix, solve, figure out, not just individual crisis moments, but cultural, world, Azusa, APU. And honestly, the majority of the time, I think the best answer that our office or we as pastors can give is Jesus. And so the biggest privilege we have is to pray with you at moments. And um, even though all the campus pastors that represent in our areas and help with so many things aren't up here, as a collective whole, we thought through what we would pray for today. And so all four of us will pray, but keep your heads bowed through the whole thing. This is a chance for us to put a good bookend on a semester and a year where we want Jesus Christ to be Lord. Bow your heads with me. Lord, I thank you for the gift of education. I thank you for the gift of community, even when it's difficult and hard. Lord, I thank you for your presence that as we look back over this year and remember so many different moments, without you, we are really lost. 
Thank you for scooping of us off the ground when we barely are making it. Thank you for providing grace between people when there's conflict and misunderstanding or even outright harm. God, thank you for what you've moved us to, how you've brought maturity in us, even when we can't see it in our own. And Lord, probably the greatest thank you that I have is for your grace and your love. You love us right where we're at and you bring us into things we can never be. And so we praise you and thank you. Heavenly Father, we want to cover our graduating seniors, and as uh, we covered what it means to live the abundant life that you've allowed us to live, Lord, I pray that our seniors feel commissioned and called and gifted and equipped to do all that you've called them to do, that they know that they're such an important piece to the body that only they can fulfill the call that you've placed on their lives, Lord, and so we pray that they feel the confidence that your Holy Spirit provides in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask your covering over every endeavor that our students will uh, enter into in this summer time. We ask for blessing, strength for those who are going on action teams as they go to various countries and different places in the world. Maybe they've never been, languages that they've never learned, but would you cover them and use them? Would you speak to them, speak through them, God, and allow those moments to be wonderful opportunities to see you in a new way and what you're up to. Father, we lift up those who are going back home, might be getting jobs or continuing to take summer classes, uh, trying to save up for next year. We ask your blessing and covering over this summer season. Lord, would it be filled with these opportunities to continue to grow closer to you and to prepare for another fruitful year next year. Father, I thank you that as we enter into finals week, that you are interrupting whatever fear, whatever anxiety, whatever worry or stress these students may be feeling, and you are inserting your peace that surpasses understanding. I thank you that it is guarding their hearts and their minds through Christ Jesus. I thank you that you are infusing them with the power and the strength to finish strong. And as they enter into the summer, I thank you, Lord, that there will be peaceful interactions, that they will return to peaceful homes, to peaceful communities, Lord, and that it would be a season of rest and rejuvenation and preparation for the next semester. In Jesus' name, amen. Get out of here. Have a great week in finals.